I think I always knew I was going to be an artist. There was never any question about it. And when I got to the point in my life as a young man where I said, hey, you know, what am I going to do for a living? Um, I had never considered doing anything but being an artist, although I didn't know how that worked. But then I got the standard lack of support, which has, has been said to <laughs> people from time immemorial, how are you going to make a living as an artist? The crowd's a little bit subdued, I think, because um, they're not drinking enough, and uh, Kevin is scaring them all with big lights and big, and he's a big guy. He's a big guy with a big light. <laughs> You like it? Well, what is it? It's nice. I know it's a... Hey, it's nice. It's a little working. What's the house? Me, it looks like using a young... It's a Jungian concept. I just like sexuality. I hope I never make it big, man. These lights are unbelievable. It reminds me of Silence of the Lambs. I look in the dumpster for a couple pieces of scrap. Still in the box. <laughs> These clutch rings are really nice. Oh, the fuzzy, <laughs> the fuzzy dice. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, they. I got to give this to Greg. Part of a transmission. No way to get that off of there. See, when I see these pieces, I really, I, I, my mind just starts going. I think of so many things I can do with them, and there's not enough time in the day to realize all the ideas. I, uh, somebody said to me once, are you ever worried about running out of ideas? I said, are you kidding? I have too many ideas. I, I don't have enough time to realize all the ideas. I mean, I'd be at the studio from morning till night. I found a lot of things today in the garbage, beautiful stuff that uh, it inspires me. You know, I try to dig through the, uh, the remnants of society. Like if I went and bought the stuff, it wouldn't be the same. But like when you, when you find it, it's imbued with this like, you know, this energy. This We're here to communicate something about our time, reflect something about our culture and the society we live in. So I think that's what we all want to do as artists. We're all a, a product of our environments to a certain degree. The use of repurposed or discarded materials was at first, as, as a young artist starting out, was a matter of necessity. You know, when you see a sculpture that's made up of hundreds of, of used objects, you get a different impression of these objects seeing them like that. And you realize that there is a tremendous amount of waste. So I, I'm trying to make a difference. The art world is changing rapidly. The mediums are changing. The, you know, the way that artists can reach their audience is changing. So it's a fluid dynamic. And, you know, I don't want to be rigid in the old ways and say, oh, you know, oil painting or bronze casting or, you know, selling through XYZ gallery is the way a real artist operates. No, you know, we're, we're inventing it as we go along. Yeah,